The first creature you tame in Ark will be a defining one, setting course for your progression within the game. But which is the most favoured starter creature in Ark? You're right, kids, it's Ras Clark, and welcome to another top 10, voted for by you on my community channels here on YouTube. And before we begin, this is a controversial one, with some people preferring certain dinos depending on whether they're playing PvE or PvP. But above all else, this is taking into consideration you've done a note run before, ensuring you gain the levels to craft a saddle for any of these dinos or tame any of these dinos, which I urge you all to do. In fact, I did a guide on this recently and I'll leave a link in the description below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share around, and let's get into it. In at number 10, you voted the Dinonychus. Spawning on Val, and why? Well, because you can simply grab an egg from the White Cliffs area where there are many spawns, and simply get it incubated and go to town with arguably one of the best traveling creatures around. Having the ability to climb, glide, and possessing no fall damage, it's great for getting around. As well, of course, as having a great melee attack, being able to latch onto larger creatures, applying a bleed effect, it's certainly going to be a great tool to gather that meat to tame more dinos. In a number nine, the Dodo. Spawning on every beach known to man. It's an obvious choice, as it's the easiest tame in the game. With you being able to knock it out with your fists, and simply feed it with berries, and from there you've now got the easiest eggs to gain in the game. Being able to craft basic kibble with, which you can use to then go on and quickly tame a variety of creatures, opening the kibble door to taming. In a number eight, the Equus, found at most open grasslands. And why? Because it is an easy tame, especially on Ragnarok, where you can simply farm rock carrots and enter a unique mini game of feeding the rock carrots at the right time to eventually calm and claim your new horse. Requiring no saddle, it's an excellent tame for speed and stamina, being able to gather berries as well. And once you're able to craft a saddle, you've now got a living, moving mortar and pestle with, of course, as many slots as you want and an up to 80% weight reduction on a variety of resources, including paste and chitin. And from this saddle, you can also craft a lasso that can certainly help you tame further creatures. In a number seven, the Iguanodon spawning all over every map can simply be tamed with a bowler and a club and feeding it some berries and it does have the unique ability of draining no stamina when running on all fours having a great speed and being able to jump high it's great for traversing maps it's also a good berry gatherer being able to turn those berries into seeds as well which you can of course use for farming or feeding light pets also a great choice for farming sport inducing mushrooms for toxin with Toxin of course being the best narcotic for both knocking out and keeping them knocked out. In a number 6, the Moss Chops. Yeah, a surprising entry, as whilst it's one of the most useful resource gatherers, efficient in a variety of resources of choice, I actually did a whole video on how good this really is, and I'll leave a link in the description. As well as autonomously gathering berries and wood, it's a passive tame, requiring a list which it'll pick at random, with some of these taking a while to gain, like sap for instance, but they are all relatively easy to get. So I'm interested to understand why it's been put so high. Perhaps people are just getting lucky with the taming requirements, or they're just happy to farm the requirements first and foremost. It's not a bad one for traveling the map, although don't expect it to help in a fight as it will automatically flee away from any danger. In at number five, the trike. Spawning everywhere, and my advice would be to take this down with a bow and arrow, and of course, trank arrows. Although you can get one to chase you till it runs out of stamina, and then proceed to knock it out in the bum bum. Of course, taming this one with berries, it's an excellent berry gatherer, second only to the Therizino and the Stego. And it's definitely a good choice for traveling around the map and transporting goods with its charge attack and good base weight. It also inflicts a decent amount of damage, so being a good all-rounder and ultimately in PvP will become a great tank for soaking those bullets. In a number four, the Raptor. Spawning everywhere you don't want it to. It is a fantastic early prime meat gatherer, defender and attacker, 
requiring a bowler and I would encourage to go for trank arrows, maybe a club if you get lucky. Feeding it meat to tame, but if you find a sheep around, kill that for mutton and you will tame one pretty damn quick. And it is a fast creature as long as the stamina provides, with a decent jump and giving you the ability to shoot from it helping to tame further creatures, and once you've tamed a few you will have an alpha boost buffing health and melee, making them a force to be reckoned with. And of course in PvP, is good for pouncing on fellow bobs. In at number 3, the Parasaur, one of the most common spawns in the game. Simply being tamed with a bowler and a club, and a few berries, it is a good all round transport dino. Being fairly fast, an intermediate berry gatherer, certainly better than hand, but of course has a great turret mode, detecting enemy players or wilds. In fact, it's a great way to hunt and find down a wild phoenix outside the heat wave on scorched earth, and is a great segue to scaring away a Dononychus from its nest, enabling you to grab an egg and get that other star to tame. In a number two, the Pteranodon. Certainly my choice for starter tame, and they spawn everywhere, simply being tamed with a bowler and a club, and will tame quick enough with meat, although if you've got a sickle, kill a few fish for some prime meat, and once tamed is your all access pass to the maps. Being able to of course fly around with a decent speed and being small enough to be stealthy, avoiding any of those larger tribes but don't underestimate its roll attack, which can be great against dinos and players. And certainly later game in PvP will be your throwaway scout. And before we get to number one, here's a special mention to the creatures that didn't just make the cut. In at number one, the Crystal Wyvern. Now this one has been such a controversial debate in the community polls, with a good divide of people arguing that this isn't a starter dino, to a half that's saying it is. And I can certainly see both sides of the coin, but it's certainly possible to be your first creature. And here's how, bearing in mind you've done that note run that I mentioned at the start of the video, and all you need to do is head to Crystal Isles, and you don't need to get an egg. All you need to do is farm some normal crystal and then find one without an air in the name which you can normally find around the south of the map, jump on the back of that wyvern and then proceed to passive tame it with crystals and that's it, that's all you have to do and you've just unlocked an all around creature, obviously for transport, flying around, getting around maps quick with the tropical variant having added speed. Wyverns of course have a great weight for farming especially for farming charcoal, hitting the burnt trees on Ragnarok or center, and of course have great melee and breath attacks, depending of course on the wyvern you choose, and will be a great tool for taming, being able to pick up a variety of creatures that you can then take to a trap you've perhaps made, and get you building an army, with of course breeding them if you choose to as well, as as well as them being easy tames, they're also pretty easy to raise enabling you a great start early on. I hope you enjoyed this one. As I said, this was such a controversial vote with a big divide on PvE and PvP players. But I hope this video has helped clear the reasons behind why I believe you voted these so high. What do you think? Drop a comment below, let me know. What more top 10s would you like to see as well? My name's Ross Clark. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And as always, Peace out.